yes friends now let us refresh uh, let us brush up what ever we have discussed as part of our any stance variable okay any stance variable what is that please try to observe here what we have discussed as part of any stance variables mm, whatever we have discussed number one is what mm, technical definition of this any stance variable what is that if a variable is available separately to each and every object then such type of variable is called as what in instance variable what is that observe here observe here if a variable okay if a variable is available separately okay separately or else if a variable copy is available separately to each and every object then such type of variables are called as what instance variables what is that if a variable if a variable value copy is available okay available separately okay separately to each and every object okay is called as what is called as what in instance in instance variable observe here example is important to us okay example is important what is that observe here class class a okay now int int s equals to minus 9 public static void main string ox okay now let me know how to create an instance for this class called a hmm, how to create by using new operator followed by a constructor okay observe here okay by using the new operator followed by constructor let it get repo with a because of this one what is going to get happen at memory ah there will be one object which is going to repo with a1 so here because of constructor execution what is going to get happen ah this variable value will be available as what a separate copy to this in instance observe here it will be available to this object object as a separate copy observe here if a variable is available separately or a variable value copy is available separately to each and every object then such type of variable is called as what in instance variable now let us create one more object okay let it be a2 object okay so because of this one what is going to get happen at memory ah a2 will get refer this in instance now hmm, this is what in instance variable so this thing is what internal implementation okay whenever object is created this variable value copy will be available as a separate one to each and every object so now no, so now there will be int s equals to minus 9 even for this in instance okay now if i do create one more in instance okay one more in instance as what our object as what a3 now once again there will be one more object uh, which is uh, a3 now int s equals to minus 9 observe here observe this one observe this one or uh, watch this one perfectly this is one object this is one object and this is also one more object what these object types they are of type capital a but but 
each and every object is what different objects okay this will be having a, a separate reference okay this will be having a, a different different references okay so they are called as what they are called as what different objects of same type okay of same type friends okay of same type okay observe here okay observe okay same type so each and every object is having a this variables copy getting that's why this variable is called as instance variable okay this is what we have seen and what we have discussed when they are going to create mm, at the time of object creation right object creation when they will get create at object creation when they will get destroy mm, at the time of object destruction when at the time of object destruction that is object getting eligible for finalization process okay observe here so so we can do one thing we can conclude one thing the life or a scope of this instance variable will be exactly similar to mm, similar to object scope or object life okay observe here so their scope will be scope is uh, similar to similar to object scope this scope can be called as what life getting are also called as what friends life okay and uh, then what we have understood other one mm, where they will get store mm, at which area this instance variable will store at heap area right at which area at store at heap area getting at a heap area observe observe one more point which we have discussed what is that mm, with respect you to the access access means what printing printing right if it is like a variable access means what printing if it is like i mean method means access means what ah, access means with respect to the method what it is calling okay with respect to the method if it is like an access means it is calling okay now what is there in this access what we have discussed hmm we can access them within the static area by using what object reference variable we have understood that one what is that within the within the static area okay we can access them by using what by using object reference okay by using what object reference observe this code friends class a okay now now observe here observe here observe here int s equals to minus 9 okay now public static void main string array now now i want to access this particular variable called yes variable called yes value within this method what is this main method it is a static or not yes public static void main string array now how to access that one ah we have seen even the reason for that one why first static control flow executes then instance control flow executes when instance control flow will execute mm, when it will get execute at the time of object creation and in between the middle execution part of constructor observe we have discussed that one okay now let me create what instance to access this particular variable called yes okay observe what is that a a equals to new a constructor sop of what 
a dot yes so you will get the output as what minus 9 okay this also we have discussed and 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 what is the other one with respect to the access we can access in instance variable directly without any reference variable within the any instance area we have even we have even discussed a practical examples for all of these things okay what is that we can access them directly access them okay directly within the within the in instance area observe here example okay observe here okay what is that class a okay int s equals to minus double line void m1 method s o p of what yes what is this friends this method is in instance area did i use any static modifier here for this method at declaration no at this at this level did i use any static here no that's why it is what in instance area okay we are accessing a s variable s is what here it is a one of the in instance variable so no restrictions to access them within the in instance area okay ah uh, now how to print this one ah uh, within the main method only we can do print them okay why because our main thread always executes what main method okay so now to access this in instance in instance method okay in instance method within the static area what you have to do now hmm, what you have to do once again object creation is necessary why we have seen identification will be done identification of uh, in instance members will be done at in instance control flow okay so that you have to perform what here object creation we have discussed all of these things okay so create what object okay new a constructor so now a1 dot m1 okay that's it okay that's it it will give the output to us as what it will give output to us as what minus double line okay minus double line okay now what we have discussed if we are not performing initialization up to here and now i am the programmer of this code right what is this initialization right what is this initialization what is this initialization and this is what declaration this is what initialization friends okay initialization this is what declaration okay declaration if i do just declaration okay if i don't perform any initialization then jvm will perform what ah initialization with which values with default values right with the default values right okay with the default values okay observe here okay okay j i mean if you don't okay if you don't perform initialization getting initialization then jvm will perform will perform initialization by using which values by using by using uh, which values friends by using uh, default uh, values okay by using what uh, default values let us see an example for this one okay let us see an example okay let me take out this one okay or else uh, observe here let me write here okay okay observe here friends okay let me write here okay for this one the example is what here okay observe okay what is that let me take one class called one class called a okay what is this class a okay and uh, now what is this int 
yes okay public stand ni quiet mean string ah okay now how to access this particular instance variable within the static area ah what you have to do you have to create in this stance okay you have to create what object object on object reference only you have to access okay now a a1 equals to new a now sop of a1 dot yes okay now what will be the value here it is zero because for int variable what is the default value zero if i take here instead of int if i take here instead of int let it be as what double then what is the default value for double it is 0.0 getting if i take here instead of double boolean then what will be the answer friends hmm what will be the answer what is the default value for boolean false okay what is the default value for boolean hmm false observe this one carefully okay don't get don't get uh, i mean uh, don't feel different and strange okay we have discussed all of these things okay and uh, what is the default value for user defined data type let it be as what let it be as what string what is the default value for string we have discussed for user defined data types uh, what is the default value hmm it is null okay it is what null okay now this is the example for hmm if you don't perform initialization then jvm will perform initialization by using what default values okay default values and we have seen one more thing what is that hmm what is that these these in instance variables also called as what hmm attributes getting attributes okay these are also known as what attributes okay all of these things we have discussed friends with example with practical examples okay this is what our in instance variable and also we have discussed one more thing what is that as part of in instance variables final in instance variable right final in instance variable now in that in that concept what we have discussed hmm what we have discussed let me brush up that one very fast okay what we have discussed one important point as part of final in instance variable is what hmm if you are not performing initialization then then will jvm perform any initialization to those final instance variable hmm will it provide or will it perform any initialization to final instance variables come on friends will it perform hmm no right we have seen okay we have seen even that one does it perform any initialization to final instance variables no okay so who is responsible here who is responsible programmer only responsible final instance variable observe here okay if you don't perform initialization okay then jvm will not perform any initialization with default values observe here okay if you don't perform any initialization okay any initialization to the final instance variables okay then jvm will not perform perform any initialization okay any initialization by using default values okay it will not perform what initialization by using any default values observe here the best example for this one ah if you don't perform initialization then jvm will also 
not perform initialization ah will our code get compiled hmm, will our code get compiled here will our code get compiled or not absolutely not right it will inform to us this information hello mister you didn't perform any initialization and also i am not responsible to perform initialization to final instance variable so please perform initialization to this final instance variable observe here this is what just a declaration i didn't uh, write that statement in this form guys okay in this form this assigning assigning operator okay this is uh, not equals operator in our programming languages it is what assigning operator okay this is called as initialization at declaration okay i didn't write such type of statement here okay so now in which way it is going to inform us ah uh, it is going to inform us by using what a compile time error as what hmm as a compile time error as what final variable okay final variable okay yes might not okay might not have been initialized getting have been initialized okay that will be the uh, that will be the what compile time error to us and we have and we also we have discussed one more thing with respect to the initialization with respect to the initialization what we have discussed with respect to the initialization uh, initialization we can perform initialization to final variables at three areas what are those hmm, what are those number 1 at the time of declaration getting at the time of declaration right number 1 getting so observe here what is that class a class a observe here final okay final int is equals to minus 9 public static void main okay now this is what instance variable how to access instance variable within the static area by using object reference okay so let me create object reference okay a okay now sop of what a1 dot yes okay it will get compiled successfully without any restrictions okay and observe here and also we have discussed at which area we can perform initialization to final instance variables what is the other one hmm, we have discussed even that one what is that one at 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 instance block getting we have seen why we can perform initialization to instance i mean final instance variables within the or at instance block getting because of instance control flow and because of second statement execution that is before second statement within the constructor executes there will be what instance control flow we have discussed that one with with good practical example okay now what is the example for that one observe here okay observe here what is that class class b okay now what is this final int yes ah uh, what is this one what is this one friends it is an instance block or also you can spell this one as what this open scope and closed scope represents what an area for defining set of instruction which is dead similar to a method block okay but it is what 
having no name okay it is also an instance method having no name okay it depends upon the programmer in which they i mean in which way they are spelling okay no issues let us talk about uh, the technical thing here okay now in this area also you can perform what initialization okay yes it is also a valid thing now public static void main void main string array how to access that one by using object object reference only getting okay this also we have discussed okay now observe observe this one okay this one is what second area and also we can perform initialization to this final instance variable at one more area what is that area at constructor block okay at constructor block observe here observe here the example okay observe the example observe class class c okay now final okay final int int s s just declaration okay c is the constructor now within this block this is also a block okay now now let me initialize that particular variable yes okay now let me define public static void main string ox array method let it be the instance as what instance as what c instance okay which is referred by c1 now how to access that one simple on c1 object reference okay dot yes okay that's it okay this is also we have seen if you compile and execute this code it will give the output to us as what minus triple line and if you compile and execute this piece of code it will give output to us as what a ah, minus 9 if you compile and execute this piece of code it will you output to us as what minus triple sorry double 9 okay these are the three areas where you can perform initialization and coming to the other one what is that mm. coming to the other one observe this one I didn't discuss this one as part of our final instance variable actual topic discussion okay uh, this is what some extra thing observe here okay extra thing what is that means uh, what is that means we can perform initialization to final instance variable within the within the instance block or at instance block and are at constructor or at the time of declaration right now if you do perform initialization to final instance variables other than these areas getting other than these areas it is invalid it is invalid observe observe here it is always invalid what is that if you perform initialization to final instance variables okay other than other than other than other than at at declaration and at constructor block at instance block getting at instance block then then it is invalid okay it is what invalid that invalid thing will be conveyed to us by using one compile time error by our mm, compiler observe here the example the best example is what observe here what is this class d okay now final final int yes okay now observe here what is this public void m1 method okay m1 method just observe this one now what i'm doing here what i'm doing here i declared a class which is containing final instance variable called as yes 
and we are having a one of the instance method is what public void m1 method do we have any constructor constructor within this class no and do we have any instance blocks within this class no okay and the type of form any initialization at the time of declaration no now i'm performing the initialization other than the other than the areas like at constructor i'm not performing initialization to this final instance variable at constructor i am not performing and also at instance block i am not performing and at the time of declaration also i am not performing i am performing the initialization within the method okay within the method this is uh, this is uh, invalid and it is going to tell this uh, invalid uh, invalid initialization to us by using a compile time error okay what is that error observe here observe here cannot assign okay cannot assign value to the final variable final variable what is that yes okay okay cannot assign a value to a final variable yes why means observe here what what is the reason behind this one means you have to understand this one okay i'll tell okay cannot cannot assign a value to final final variable final variable yes okay final variable yes what is the reason for that one simple reason observe here observe here simple reason what is the reason for that one means uh, reason means uh, observe here as part of instance uh, control flow as part of instance control flow which will get executed by jvm at the time of execute uh, by jvm jvm at the time of at the time of object creation okay so this instance control flow execute by jvm at object creation observe observe here okay at object creation what is this i am telling like it's a control flow getting it's a control flow control flow means technically execution step by step process of execution observe step by step process of execution okay now observe here observe here observe this one as part of this instance control flow okay as part of this instance control flow there will be first execution of instance variables along with that there will be execution of instance block within a single step this happens at a stretch friends this happens at a stretch observe this happens at a stretch okay there will be execution of execution of instance variable assignments okay assignments okay along in this step okay along with this step okay within a single step they are performing three actions observe here okay within a single step okay execution of instance variable assignments that is they are resolving they are resolving this uh, this thing okay there will be s yes variable for that s variable they will hold minus 9 okay so within a single single execution or within a single form of action they will perform three things what is that instance variable assignment other one is what instance block execution okay instance block execution observe here what is that instance block execution okay other one is what constructor block execution okay along along within this 
single execution flow they are performing three things at a time observe here okay what is that static block i mean instance block execution and uh, constructor block execution getting and uh, observe here after these three things happens after these three things what is that instance variable assignments and instance block execution and constructor block execution only only object creation will get finish getting object creation will get finish we have discussed one thing when the objects i mean when the instance variables will get create exactly at the time of object creation see here what you are doing here if these three things get execute means object creation will get finish getting then when the instance variables are going to get create hmm, at the time of object creation okay object creation means simply these three things execution okay what is that simply this uh, variable assignment execution instance block execution constructor block execution uh, observe here then only any method can call okay based on the object reference only you can call any method that is instance method observe here when you are doing initialization you are doing initialization when after object creation which is invalid okay which is invalid that's why cannot assign value to final variable s after object creation you cannot perform initialization that is the reason observe observe here okay instance control flow when it gets executed by jvm at the time of object creation object creation means uh, indirectly three things what is that instance variable assignments uh, hmm, instance block execution other one is what constructor block execution observe okay then only you can execute any method on the particular reference whatever the reference you are having okay now what you are doing after object creation you are creating or you are initializing the variable value that to it is what final instance variable okay they should get create before before object creation completes completes observe here that's the meaning here what is this at the time of declaration observe here what is this execution of instance variable assignments that's why this thing is valid which is happening at the time of object creation so no issues and observe here object creation means what three things i have said to you object creation means what these things only okay now at the time of instance block execution we are performing observe here where is the instance block this one this is also being as a contributor to create an object okay getting now other one is what at constructor block execution even constructor also being as one member in object creation so that even within the constructor also declaration is what that is initialization is what truly a valid thing that's why we are not getting any compile time error as part of constructor and as part of declaration and as part of what instance block getting okay getting and after instance or object creation you are performing initialization which is invalid okay this point we didn't discuss okay now we are discussing as part of instance variables thing we didn't discuss this one that's why i made this as a notice to you okay now let us see let us see this particular execution okay so let me let me brush it once again what is this one hmm if you don't perform any initialization then jvm 
will not perform initialization to final instance variables by using what mm, by using what default values then who is responsible here to perform initialization a ah, programmer he can perform that initialization at three areas what is that at declaration time at instance block or at constructor okay if you do perform Form initialization to this final instance variable other than these three areas you'll get what compile time error what is the reason this is the reason okay please try to understand the reasons okay logically you can be good okay now let us see execution part for this particular thing what is this hmm if you perform initialization to final variables other than a declaration other than at i mean instance block other than at constructor then there will be an invalid message to us okay what is that message cannot assign value to final variable s okay now let us see execution and compilation part for that particular code okay observe this one carefully okay observe this one carefully friends okay now let us go for let us go for let us go for that particular piece of code okay observe observe that one carefully friends okay so let me create that particular final instance variable okay observe this one carefully okay what is that final int s right now let me create one instance method as what name public void m1 method within this let me perform what initialization okay let it be double nine okay observe here observe here now we are going to compile this one okay compile this one what is the source file name here ah what is the source file name here test.java let me put that okay test.java observe observe here see here cannot assign value to final variable yes okay observe here sometimes the error messages will be in this way you have to understand that with maturity okay i hope you get this one okay this is what this is what our final instance variable okay try to understand try to know the reason behind each and every each and every act each and every work okay so that the subject will be very simple to us okay